This as a new study tells us many vaccinated children faced breakthrough infections as Omicron surged across the country. And one of the youngest age groups was found to have roughly half as much protection as expected. So here to talk more about this is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, can you give us a breakdown of what the CDC found in this latest study? Absolutely, Glenda. You know, the CDC looked at real, real world data, which is great for kids that were treated with COVID-19 symptoms. And here's what they found. Uh, when they looked specifically at kids who were eligible to be vaccinated. So those are kids, Glenda, between uh, the ages of five and 17. The data included nearly 40,000 clinic for emergency room visits and 1,700 hospitalizations. And, and the results, the youngest group that was uh, recently approved to get vaccinated, so kids between five and 11 years of age, were found to be 46% less likely to seek treatment for COVID-19 when compared to those who were not vaccinated. So that's a big drop because clinical trials found a 91% efficacy, right, for this, for this age group. Also, the children of this age group, only two vaccinated kids were hospitalized compared to 59 kids that were not vaccinated that were ended up being admitted. Now, for the older kids that are between 12 and 15, Glenn, and those who are fully vaccinated were 83% less likely to visit a clinic or emergency room. Uh, they were also 92% less likely to be hospitalized, so that's good news. Now, those numbers I, I sound good, right? But they dropped about five months after the second dose was administered down to 38% for clinic or emergency room visits and 73% for hospitalizations. Now the oldest group, right, the kids aged 16 and 17, they were about 76% less likely to visit a clinic or emergency room, and they were 94% less likely to be hospitalized. Again, though, those numbers dropped at the five-month mark to 46% for clinic visits and 88% for hospitalizations. So Dr. Nanny, do you think that younger children have less protection because they were given that smaller size dose? It's a good question, right? And, and Linda, as for the uh, kid size dose, it's not that the vaccines did not work for kids five to 11. It's, it's more likely because the virus rapidly evolved and we have this Omicron virus, right? Which is different from the earlier variants. And so vaccines were found to be less effective when it came to preventing infection. Having, having said that though, this latest study as well as others show our vaccines are still proving to be really good protection when it comes to hospitalization and death. So it, it, again, it's not perfect, but it's really good protection against hospitalization and death. So again, I can't stress how important it is to get vaccinated and to get boosted if you're eligible. But these kinds of studies give you real world evidence of what's going on and, and how, how really these vaccines affect all of us. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you. Thank you. And if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll get it right to him.